Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of The Ghost Train. This is a horror game by Chilla's Art, also known as the developer behind The Convenience Store, Stigmatized Property, Missing Children, and many others. Very prolific indie horror developer. This game was released back in September, and they've actually released two games since then. So they've been hard at work, and I have not, because I haven't played this. But we're going to check it out now. New game. We're playing as Kensuke Tanaka, age 42. Gender, male. Occupation, insurance company, sales manager. Pretty horrific job title, if I'm honest. I wouldn't want to work in insurance. Okay, so that's uh, it's July 24th, maybe? Tab inventory, shift run, gotcha. Uh, so what is this an ad for, exactly? A VTuber, or... I'm not really sure what. There's some time before I get on. I could use a little smoke break. We're not gonna enable this guy. I refuse to do this objective. Man, my throat's parched. I better get something. Also, my stomach would hurt around this time. I wouldn't want to hold it during the ride. Okay, slow your roll, buddy. That's three different tasks you've given me. Are any of them optional? Probably not. What is with the anime waifus and the ads in the subway? Alright. Thanks. There's a bucket of slop here. <laughs> Maybe there's something to eat in there. Oh wait, use the toilet? Yes. Thank you for not showing us using the toilet. Some discretion is appreciated. Oh. No, wait, never mind. We are being shown. Did I just, did I, oh, flush. Gotta be immersed in using the bathroom. I'm, I'm assuming that I've done it now. I'm assuming that's all I needed to do. Buy a drink, yes. There we go. Objective two, complete. Although, if your throat's parched, you probably shouldn't have, uh, soda. It's just gonna make you thirstier. You're gonna feel like it doesn't at first, but in the long run, yeah. So many cute animals here. Here's your little bunny. I, I'm, I'm very curious about ads like this. In what world does, like, this convince anyone to have a drink? Like, I like this guy, so I'm gonna drink this. I don't know, maybe it's building brand awareness. Enter smoke room. Yes. I'm sorry. It, it's not outside? It's, it's just this. Is, does this room have ventilation of any kind? Is this just, just like, it's a place to suffocate in our own smoke. Great, can I leave now, or? You're not done yet. Oh, now I'm done. Exit. All things considered, very quick smoke break, but I'm grateful for it. Alright, now that I'm finished with my menial tasks, let's check out some more ads. <laughs> what is this? Is that a gorilla? The little chick mascot? Sidekick? What is this selling? Alright, let's get on the ghost train. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong with that person? Is she alright? She got a tummy ache. Or... Pregnant, maybe. <laughs> Appendicitis? Could be a lot of things. Alright, we're on the ghost train now. I got an achievement. Green cicadas. I don't remember seeing any green cicadas. Ah, so I have actually, just quick tedious background, I'm sorry, I've played many a game with this exact train layout, but Chilla's Art has done something different. They've actually added things to it, bravo. The seats are a different color, the lighting is different, there's ads, very nice. Now, I have to get to my favorite seat, the corner of the second coach. Have to, huh? All right. Cup noodles! And there's a photographer for some reason. <laughs> He's taking Instagram photos of his own food. Another waifu. I don't know what this is selling. A game, maybe? 
some kind of naughty visual novel. Hey, are you si are you are you sitting in my seat? Look at her feet. Why are you on your tippy toes? Why are you looking away from me? Oh, okay. Now you look at me, huh? She's the OL that always rides on the last train. I want to leave her alone, though. I'm tired. And I'm guessing she is as well. Yeah, this is a great way to leave her alone. Get right up in her face. I, I definitely want to leave this person alone. <laughs> Take a seat. Why not? So what's going to happen on this ghost train? Hey! What? That's a green cicada, all right. I hate cic I can't stand cicadas, man. They scare me. I don't know what it is about, like, leathery, heavy-bodied, flying insects, but I just can't do it. Especially if they make noise. Didn't my stop just pass by? Or is it just my imagination? Maybe I can talk to someone to confirm it. I'll never forget one time at my apartment when I was living alone, years ago. There was a cicada on my porch that I thought was dead. And I was sweeping my porch. So I swept it. I mean, it was like, it looked dead, it hadn't moved in forever. And uh, as I was sweeping it, all of a sudden, it came to life, its wings started fluttering, and it screamed at me. It just started screaming at me and fluttering around and banging into things. And so I dropped the broom and I ran inside. It's not, it's not that there's anything to be scared of, I just- it's just like my biggest jump scare, you know? I always had a hard time explaining that growing up, because I had a similar reaction to, uh, giant flying cockroaches. And my parents were always like, they're not gonna bite you! And it's like, yeah, but... They just- I don't want them to touch me. I don't like the weight of them flying around. Hi, can I help you? Oh, you're the- You're the one with the cicadas! You sicko. Escaped? Bzzz. Three escaped. How? Bzzz. I'm in a hurry. Could you please move aside? Escaped. Not in a very good mood. Bzzz. It's no good. He's not listening. Whatever it is, I better get what he wants. You want me to find your three missing cicadas? No. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't. <laughs> there you go. There's your- there's one of your cicadas. Can't you do this yourself? Aren't these cicadas your responsibility? So there was one on a door just now, so probably the next one's gonna be on a window, and then there's gonna be one on a seat, if I had to guess. You know, to vary things up. Ah-ha! There was one on the window in the very back car. What was I saying? One on the window, next one will be... Either on a seat or it's gonna be up here. If it's up here, I'm pissed. Did you see what just happened? Yes, I did. But I can't bring my energy up to do anything about it. Well, good for you. That was my stop. Now I have to take the taxi home. Shall I go talk to the conductor? How nice of her. It's obvious she's exhausted from her overtime work. I can tell by her eyes. You can't even see her eyes, bro. <laughs> no, no, please. I can't let you do that. I'll go. You can stay here and rest. Okay. Well, let me know if there's anything I can help. Yeah, you can start by looking me in the eye. Huh? Here, take it. Ugh. Okay, just one more to go. Probably towards the middle of the train. So I'm just going to zoom forward to that. There's a cicada outside. See? That weight of it hitting the window? That's what I don't like. Could do without that. What? Is this advertising a Junji Ito novel? <laughs> Gyo. I like that one. That one was good. Aha! What I tell you? It was gonna be up there. Is that Ronald McDonald? Oh boy. 
Okay. We could go on and on about the ads, honestly. I'm, I'm impressed by how many unique ads there are. I don't know if these are, like, real or what. Again. The anime girls. It's time to stop. What? What did I just say? It's time to stop. Speaking of it's time to stop, I think it's time to give up being a cicada wrangler or whatever you are. There you go. I got you all three of them, now what? Now you're gonna let me pass so I can talk to the conductor? Oh, was that so hard? What are you so- what are you so chuffed about? Look at him. He's pleased as punch about something. He's also wobbling a lot. Alright, I don't have time for you. Hey. <laughs> Do you need anything? Do I need anything? Yes, I want the train to stop on the next one, please. You forgot to stop on the previous one. Oh, is that right? I must have been spacing out. I apologize for the inconvenience. We will prepare you for the... Uh, we will prepare you the compensation necessary for the mishap. Please leave your contact information here. I see. What a mishap, huh? Now I'm late getting home. I'm gonna miss my favorite shows. No amount of compensation is gonna make up for that. Ugh. I don't have the time and energy to complain to the railway company. I'm just relieved that it wasn't anything serious. I'll let it pass this time. And I'll look forward to tomorrow's work. What am I doing with my life? Eh, well, you're... Doing what a lot of other people do. Work, and then go home. Go to sleep, get up the next day and work again. A lot of people do that, alright? It's not a bad life to have. So, am I supposed to do the same things again? I think the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a very compelling ad, as always. So, I've gone to the bathroom, I bought a drink, and now it's time to sit in the suffocation room. I mean, smoking room. <laughs> Until the train comes. I wonder how many days I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, flickering light. Something different's happening. Ghost gonna appear? I don't know. I think maybe it's just a flickering light. Yeah, let's exit the suffocation pit here and wait for the train to arrive. Is the f light still flashing? It's not anymore. It's just gone out. And we're back on the train. Gotta get back to our favorite spot where we always sit. We complain about the routine, but then we enforce it on our own. She's here again. Not gonna lie, there's a part of me that's comforted by her always being there. Maybe I should talk to her. <clears throat> I thought you didn't want to bother her. Okay. Um, hey. Typically, I wouldn't have the space to talk to anyone. But I feel that the ice between us have broken. <laughs> I guess it's thanks to last night's incident. Ah, yes. The cicada incident. Hey! Did you make it home safe last night? Obviously. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> what? Why? If it's okay with me, I'm all ears. If it's okay with me, I'm all ears. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. But there's nothing to vent about at this point. It's too late. Hmm. I don't think there's anything late about talking to someone about their struggles. No! It's too late! I'm sorry. It's been tough, and I'd rather not talk about it. Please forgive me. Okay. Well, I'm sure you've seen me many times already, but I'm usually on this train at this time. So, uh... Yeah, now what, genius? We both take the same train? That's your ice... I thought you said the ice has been broken. She just says, okay. Oh, that's harsh. I'll keep in mind. 
You'll keep in mind that we take the same train. Oh my god. Fucking eviscerated, dude. Go sit down. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> you're, you're done so, dude. That did not go well. If you didn't notice. Uh, what the hell? What's a little girl doing here? A kid shouldn't be roaming around the train this late. Daddy? I'm not your father. Hmm, yeah, you look different. Mm-hmm. Now you better go back to your dad. Oh, about that. I, I can't remember where daddy is. I was chasing a cicada I saw in the window. And now I'm too scared to go back alone. Mister, could you please come with me to find daddy? Either way, I can't let a kid be lost here alone. I guess I have no choice. <laughs> sure. Yay! Thank you, mister. Let's find your daddy. He's dead, by the way, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's a ghost. Nice pinwheel. Oh, chilla. Chilla, chilla. Thought you were slick, huh? You thought we wouldn't notice. Thought we wouldn't notice this is the same pinwheel from missing children. And don't think I didn't notice the conductor was wearing the same outfit as the police officer in missing children, huh? Are you just gonna stay there? Come with me. Hi, suspicious looking man. Are you the father? Oh my god. I feel like I'm Mori right now. Are you the father? Horror game! That's what it says. Horror game! Radio show every Sunday. Interesting. I want to tune into the horror game radio show. I can't talk to these guys. Hey, mister. What is it? There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Well, I think I had forgotten how my dad looks like. How is that even possible? I think it's because he looks like any middle-aged guy. That's why I thought you were my daddy. I think the only way is to talk to the ones that look like my dad. Okay. Hey. I didn't know you were a father. Why, does that get me points? Does that get me points? Proving I'm responsible? No, I'm not. She's not my daughter. Is she related to you in any way? No. Why is she making that face? What does that make you then? I'm just a stranger. She mistook me for her father. She wants me to come with her to find him. Okay, I was concerned. What? No, I would never. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, 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 you're coming with me now. Oh, thank God. Oh, well then we can just, okay, let's just go this way. There's like four dudes over here and they wouldn't let me talk to them. Cause you wouldn't go with me. That's cool, that's cool that she runs though. Nice to see some motion in this game from someone besides my character. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know this girl? What? Don't know. So the answer's no then. Don't say you don't know. Just say no, you either do or you don't. What's so hard about this? Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Do you know this girl? No. Why? Looking for her parents? Yeah, she says she's here with her father. It's rare for such a young kid to be here alone. What's wrong with people these days? Well, good luck to you. Okay, that's nice. I didn't really ask for running commentary from the peanut gallery, okay? Just just answer simple yes or no. Okay. Excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know this girl? No, I don't. I thought you were her father. I thought you were her father. <laughs> I saw her sleeping next to you the whole, the while time. This is the strangest thing I've seen in a while. Ha <laughs> ha! There's nothing funny about it, asshole. You think I'm doing this because I want to? Okay. Calm down. Are we gonna get to the last one? And we're gonna be like, do you know this girl? And he's gonna be like, what girl? And we're gonna turn around and she's gonna be gone. There's no one with you. You gonna do that? Excuse me. Do you know this girl? No. And don't talk to me. That can't be. Her father isn't even on the train. Could it be that he left her alone here? 
What? She's running away. Hey! Hey, come back here. Oh, no! You little scamp. You've been found out. How are you faster than me? I'm an adult! I have a much longer stri- What the- What was that? <laughs> what- Where is that? Oh! Er... The stench of alcohol. <laughs> huh? He's shivering. Hey! What? What the hell are you doing? Please get me out of here. What's wrong? I swear I saw something on this train. I swear! What is it that you saw? I don't know! It was something out of this world. He's probably just too drunk. I don't have time for this. Okay, well, I'll let you know when I see something then. <laughs> hey, by the way, do you happen to know this girl? Hey! He fell asleep. So is this her dad? By the way, is is this strong enough to support an adult man? Kind of crazy, if so. Oh, look, it's a uh, tortured anime protagonist who has tons of inner monologues throughout the series about how motivated he is for something. Every other episode, he cries and has a trembling fist where he talks about his resolve and determination to do something. Okay, uh... Where did she go? What? What? Hey! I'm getting quite the workout right now. Oh my, there are cicadas all over the train, by the way, outside. Look, look. It's my worst nightmare. Look at all of them. This kid is like the fastest kid alive! I have double the stride of this kid, I should be smoking them. What a freak. Join the Olympics, why don't you? Oh. Oh. Oh, the drunk guy fell down. Kind of a weird little jump scare. Uh-oh. That's my stop. What was all that? I'm probably too stressed. Can't even tell from dream to reality sometimes. I mean, everyone else saw the girl, too, so it's not like you were dreaming the girl. Or maybe you meant that little sequence with the cicadas, in which case, yeah. Kinda, kinda weird, I guess. Alright, I guess we gotta do the same three things again. Hello? Yeah, occupied. Hmm. Okay. A little weird. I mean, someone else used the bathroom? How strange. Okay. Wait, what does this say? Taste of your life. Does it say hunk cola? Taste of your life. The best taste of your life, maybe? It's just the taste of your life. Well, what kind of taste of my life? The worst taste of my life? You gotta specify. I'm instantly just gonna go negative with it. Okay, so we had a flickering light last time. We went to the suffocation chamber here. Uh, oh, oh, it's doing it again. Did it do it the first time? Because I don't remember seeing it. Hmm. Oh, it turned off this time. Or like, I saw it turn off. Very cool. Let me out of here. Okay, what's today's adventure gonna be like? She's not here today. Ah. Uh. Hey! 
Well, what's all this? What's all this then? I guess I won't sit there. Baby. I heard baby sound. Has it always said two there? Okay, I guess I'll sit here. Did I just not notice the huge numbers <laughs> before? I feel like they're kind of hard to miss. <gasps> no. The power went off, but the ads are still lit up. What's going on? A blackout? There's something wrong with this train. What time is it? 2 a.m.? It's way past the usual arrival time. I have to talk to the conductor. Oh, don't bother this poor man. He's probably just zoning out again. <laughs> Can't you just leave him alone, bro? Oh, wait. Yeah. Giant glowing one. I don't, I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, these, uh, these ads are still lit up, though. Gotta prioritize the money. Let's open now. What flavor ice cream is this? Carrot ice cream? I've had carrot cake. Not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. Carrot ice cream though? Uh, maybe don't. I like carrots. Just have carrots. Just have carrots and then have some actual ice cream. Like an actual ice cream flavor, you know? Excuse me? I can't even see anything. What is happening? What? Oh, hello. Bro, forget the other woman. Here we go. This is good. What's wrong? What's wrong? Can't you see that the train is acting weird? I tried conductor room, but the door is locked. How can you stay so calm? What do you hear? What? I can help you only when you hear the voices of the natural world, even in the midst of a crisis. Okay. Remember what I said about how she was the better romantic option in the situation? She's not. I changed my mind. So please, tell me. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's nice. I'm gonna just slowly back away. I hear a waterfall? Or like water in general. So what about this one? Cicadas. I recognize that that sound anywhere. Growing up in Texas, you hear cicadas all the time in the trees. I'll tell you what, I'm not climbing trees in summer. Okay, so that's music. That's not music of the natural, that's, this is not a sound of the natural world. Okay, what's this one? Wind? Wind and footsteps? Okay. And how about this one? Uh, like a... These are not like natural sounds. These are these are people making sounds. What the hell is this? <laughs> a plum? A plum mascot? Each plum lost his mind. All right, I did your weird little exercise. In the order in which you hear them, what do you hear? Okay. Cicadas. Okay. 
Okay, cicadas. And then... Seaside. And then summer festival. Then forest. Then temple bell. The other world says you indeed hear the voices of the natural world. The other world allowed me to call the helper. It should be here any second. When you talk to the helper, the train should come to a halt. Okay, bye! <laughs> Thanks for the help. Oh. Yeah. You know, you're kind of weird, you know that? Ugh, when you turn your head, your chin looks strange. Yeah, your face is like distorting. Okay, never mind. Bring back the other lady. Hey, where's the helper, by the way? Thanks for turning the power back on somehow. The other world. Okay, are you the helper? Huh? Are you the helper? What are you talking about? Who are you? Wait a second. I know you. You were one of the troublemakers at my high school. Uh, you don't change. Mr. Shimizu, how nostalgic. He's the man who saved me from dropping out. Without him, I wouldn't be in such a position in my company today. I thought this guy was just like, talking nonsense. But it's actually part of the story, wow. But Mr. Shimizu, why are you out this late? Well, it's a hobby of mine to get on the last train ride before going to bed. Weirdo, he never changes. However, now is not the time for a reunion. Sir, this train isn't stopping for hours, and I'm afraid this train will never come to a stop. Is there anything I can do? Ah, I understand. Okay, listen carefully, kid. You must get off the train before the train reaches the end. My destination is at the end, and trust me, you do not want to go there. There are three stops where you can get off at. However, you must choose the right one. There will be an announcement melody played on every stop. When you hear the same sound as the sound you heard on the home station, what? Get off. Otherwise, I'll be able to help you later. So be careful, young one. I'm sorry, what? How am I supposed to remember? Oh. No? I don't think that's the right one. I don't know. What a stupid quiz. Don't quiz me on this. Look at him, he's cracking up. Getting a big kick out of this, huh? No? Is it the third and last one? I mean, I've heard it several times by now. You'd think I'd be able to recognize it. Was it the first one? Oh, God. Yes? I got an achievement. Echoic memory. What does that achievement mean? Oh, 08, oh, 06! Well, so like 12 days have passed now? Oh, this guy again. Hmm. Looks like your card isn't readable. That's strange. It was working yesterday. Can you please let me go this time? I don't want to miss my ride. Hold it right there! Don't you even try to get past! If your car isn't working, you better get the ticket! Can't you help me get a new card, though? No can do. <laughs> you have to do that during the day. I can't help you at this time. What? So what's your solution? I'm just screwed? Okay, let's go up the escalator. So I, I'm assuming I got off on the right 
I got off on the right uh, stop, right? Uh, why does it get so dark when I go into the corner like this? Buy a ticket, yeah. Did I get one? Thanks. Yeah, why is it- it gets so dark when you get close to stuff. Here. Yeah, see? And then it... What, just here? I heard some weird... shuffling sounds. Okay, well, very thankful for my detour to go purchase my ticket. Feels very, uh, immersive, close to real life, having to be inconvenienced like this. Wait, is this the right way? It is. Okay, thank God. Hey, he's not even here anymore. Oh, brother! If he- if I know that he left, I could've just jumped over this! No one would've been the wiser. Could've gotten away with it. <sighs> what was that? A lot of the lights are off this time. Ooh, the escalators are moving really fast. I can't go on them. Damn, I wanted to get on. Oh, flashing lights warning. Should I go in here? No. Okay. I'll just keep going forward then, because I think, yeah, they're going crazy back there. It doesn't want me to smoke, or get... Or get, like, a drink. Or go to the bathroom, or anything. I guess we just wait for the train then? This head cracks me up. She's like, oh, my tummy. Okay, yeah, the train just comes. Cool. Happy to get out of here, to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, I was sweaty. Ghost train speedrun. So she's still not here today? No, she's not. Okay, this is where I always sit. Take a seat? Yes. I would like to take a seat. Alright, what will inconvenience me today? Can't wait to find out. You've got to be kidding me. Not stopping again? This isn't funny anymore. We gotta give this guy a piece of our mind. Let's go. Conductor, stop zoning out up there and do your job, please. I hate you. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't hate you. But you gotta stop pulling this. See, look, the numbers are gone. Look, they're gone. I knew I wasn't imagining it. There's no conductor. Try operating the train. I guess. Uh, excuse me? The train doesn't respond to anything I'm pressing. There's a keyhole. Looks like I need a key to operate it. Uh... I don't... Is there a key? Oh, I didn't see anything. Except like a blood splatter? I was convinced... Oh, red means scary, y'all. Heh <laughs> heh. 
Red means scary. Ooh, sticky. Hello? Huh. Hey, look, it's that... It's that woman. There's like reflections of people. What is this? Oh, this is the pinwheel. Red, red windmill toy, rather. What's this? It's the cane. So the red windmill toy belonged to the little girl, and the cane belonged to the Mr. Shimizu. Beer. That belonged to the guy. Also, are all those ghosts? Are these their possessions? There's the reflection of the cane guy. Shoes. These these belong to that woman. Place cane. Yeah, cause see, that's him right there. So maybe we... Oh, we match up the items with the ghosts, right? Yeah, he was tapping right there. But now he's done tapping. So I guess we're, we gotta put all the ghosts at peace, or... Look, there's the little girl and her father. So then... Sorry, my bad. So this goes... Place windmill toy. Yeah? I think that that's correct. Okay, yeah, there's no reflections. We can kind of just... Here we go. Okay, that guy... I don't think I have one for him, actually. No. He's like a cicada boxer. Something. Okay, so it's the, it's the part that's highlighted in red. Okay, so her. So we need the shoes. Here we go. <laughs> Place shoes. Yeah, those are your shoes, right? What's this? Oh, cicada box. Okay. And then you. I guess you're the the drunk guy. So beer? Yeah, cause it looks like he's supposed to be holding a beer there. Okay, and then we go back to the cicada guy and we put the box down. Pretty simple, but like, what happens after that? Wait, was this it? Bug cage. Okay, this is him, right? Yeah. Okay. That's all of them. Hello. Exactly. Oh, they're slow. Don't worry about it. They're slow. I tried, like, closing as I went by. There we go. That should help. Achievement unlocked. Survive. I guess we could have died there. Crawling ghost thing was trying to kill us. Okay. This is a cool area. Look at this. 
Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Looks like you made it. This isn't the place for you. You're gonna need a ride home. But I don't have a home. Don't worry. Just call home now. They should know where to pick you up. Call them now before you get lost in the tracks. What? Call them? Is there a phone I can use? Before you get lost in the tracks. I don't know. Oh, there's something up here. Is that a phone booth? It is. Okay. I guess I will call. If you'll excuse me. This phone booth only accepts 10 and 100 yen coins. I have a 10 yen and a 50 yen coin. Seems like I've only got one chance. Who should I call? Ooh. So I can only get- I only get one phone call? I have home, coworker, boss, friend, taxi, train station, police. Let's call home, I guess? I know that no one would answer. But I have to follow what Mr. Shimizu told me. Yes, hello? What? I can't believe someone answered. Who could it be? Um, hello, who is this? This voice. I know this voice. There's no doubt about it. It's my wife. How could this be? I called this number many times, hoping that someone would answer. But no one ever would. Um, excuse me? I should hurry. I only got a few seconds till my minute is up. You waited this long? Aiko. When did you come home? Aiko, maybe? I've been looking for you ever since you left. It's hard holding back my tears. However, now is not the time. Kensuke, where are you? K Kisaragi. I meant Kisaragi. Kisaragi Station? No, don't tell me. What do you mean? What did I do? So, you too. I know exactly where you are. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. I got an achievement. Home. You know exactly where I am? I mean, I'm not at the station, though. I'm at a phone booth alongside the train tracks. So, is that okay? You know exactly where I am. Should I go back? Okay. Uh, I... nothing happened, so I'm just gonna keep following the train tracks. Although Mr. Shimizu warned against getting lost in the tracks. So I don't know. Okay, this is the last light. Oh! There they are! Oh, you're just gonna fade to black? I couldn't believe my eyes. It was my wife's car. She hasn't changed. I took her into my arms and cried. I'm glad, she whispered, patting my back. I held her hand and got into the car. You're here too early, she said as we were driving. I didn't know what she meant by that, but that didn't matter. You're in the afterlife, dude, come on. All that mattered was that I got to see her again. We didn't have much of a conversation during the ride. There was so much to ask, yet there wasn't much to be said. I was happy enough to have her presence next to me. And rather soon, we arrived at my place. She dropped me off and unlocked the door to my apartment. Just as I looked back, excited to invite her in, she was gone without making a single sound. 
She had disappeared. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Today, I live a normal life as a salary man again. Wondering every night if I'll be able to meet my wife again. If I'll ever be able to meet my wife again. Yeesh. Okay. So I'm guessing that's the end of Ghost Train. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, there it is. So, as far as Chilla's Art games go, I've talked about this before. Chilla's Art... All over the place for me. Sometimes I play a game from them, like the convenience store, and I'm like, this is so good. Or like, stigmatized property. Um, or okay And I'm like, this is so good. And then other times I play a game like Akamanto, and I'm like... Meh, you know, and play a game like Missing Children, and I'm like, eh, you know, not great. I think this kind of fits into that category for me, Ghost Train. It's not bad, it's just... I don't know, it's not that scary to me. I guess it's more of a psychological horror, right? But I just feel like the train is kind of full of random tasks, seemingly random tasks. Finding the cicadas for the guy, uh, talking to all the dudes, trying to find the girl's mom, the weird sound puzzle, uh, finding the objects for the ghost was kind of neat. But other than that, they were like seemingly pretty random. And uh, I guess I like a little bit more structure, or like... Uh, th things, tasks that are more relevant to whatever is happening. And it just seemed like the concept for this game is, uh, train setting, and then just interacting with different characters and picking up different items on the train. Which is fine, you know, it gets the job done. I, I liked the end sequence more than any other part of the game. Uh, I just, I don't know, I think overall, it's just okay, not their best work, but not horrible. So, yeah, that was The Ghost Train. Again, it came out in September, they have a Patreon right there if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the description to that as well, and yeah, this was another Chills Art Game. Let me know what you guys thought about The Ghost Train. Am I way off? Do you really like this and I'm just, it's just not my bag? Let me know in the comments. And uh, they have two other new games that I need to check out. There's one called Teke Teke and one called Hanako. So we might play those pretty soon. I need to I need to catch up. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.